The suspect in the murders of four University of Idaho students was back in court today. His murder trial is scheduled to begin in a few months. Ethan Chapin, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Kaylee Gonzalez were found dead in their home in Moscow, Idaho, almost seven months ago. And today, Brian Koberger and his defense team appeared along with prosecutors and the lawyer representing the family of Kaylee Gonzalez. Hey, Jake Carroll Alexis was inside the courtroom. He's joining us live from Moscow, Idaho. So, uh, Jake, what exactly was happening inside of this hearing? Matt and Hannah, Shannon Gray, the lawyer for Kaylee Gonzalez's family, told the judge and, uh, excuse me, asked the judge to lift a gag order that's prevented the family from speaking out publicly about this case. Gray told the judge that the gag order has prevented the Gonzalez family from getting the most up-to-date information on the investigation and that it should be lifted if they're going to be witnesses for the case. I have not seen a poor line of communication in my 22 years of prophecy than the prosecution's office and the Gonzalez family. And I think it, it stems from initially we were critical of the investigation. The prosecution pushed back, saying they've answered what they can and they need to avoid hurting the integrity of the investigation. To take affirmative steps to address the impacts that um, intense pretrial publicity can have on the case. An order like the one in this case is an appropriate measure for addressing that duty of the court. And we didn't hear much from Koberger's team, but he was dressed in a suit and a tie for this hearing, as opposed to the usual orange jumpsuit. Latah County Judge John Judge did not issue a decision today, so the gag order stays in place for now. And there was a second hearing this afternoon involving Koberger. His defense team wants cameras banned from the courtroom for the remainder of the proceedings against him. In Moscow, Idaho, Jay Carol Alexis, Fox 13 News.